I'm just pulling up my phone here real quick. All right. So hi, people. <laughs> Everybody here tonight. I don't think there's, oh, I don't know if we have anybody here yet, but um, while we're waiting just to see if anybody's out there in um, Facebook land, there, I've got that pulled up on my phone, so we're all set. All right, so this is going to be fun tonight. We're really excited. So this is Laura that's on the screen with me from um, Novel Ideas by Laura. And um, if you have any questions for her, um, we're both kind of new to this um, process. You would have to give StreamYard permission to, hi, Angel, to show um, your comments. And I can see Angel, so we're good there. So she must have done that. And it's not like a privacy thing or anything. It's just really simple. You just click on it and then we can see your name and comments. So this is great. So anyways, um, Laura, yes, who yes. are you and what do you do? <laughs> um, my name is Laura. It would be pretty funny if it were. <laughs> and I think I uh, use books in very good condition and repurpose them. Um, I fold the pages of the books. So I have, I brought some, fold the pages of the books so that I can ooh, create. Oh, that's really cool. Books. Well, that's it. This is uh, actually a 1000 vegetarian recipe book <laughs> that I found in a, in a library store. Oh my goodness. Um, wow. My favorite color. Mm -hmm. And I fold the word love in it. Wow. That's amazing. So how many pages was that? A thousand pages? This did you book, say? Well, it's a thousand mm -hmm. recipes. Let me see how many oh, pages. thousand recipes. Actually, this book is 598 plus. 500, okay. Over 598 pages. About 600 page book for this one. Right. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's really nice. Thank you. So how long would it take you to do a book like that? I mean, that's, to me, would be a daunting project. <laughs> it can be. Um, there's different steps. I don't. I honestly have not recorded the time from the beginning to the end. I usually don't sit one day. Mm -hmm. First, I decide what it is I'm going to fold. So once I decided that I'm going to fold the word love, I'll mm -hmm. draw out the word and sometimes, you know, the font that I use, like I use a little bit fancier or a flow. Right, right. Then I decide about how many pages I need for that book um, to, to make that work. So mm -hmm. in about, I'd like to have about a hundred um, pages per mm -hmm. uh, More is fantastic. Less can uh, less can work. Sometimes the, the font may have to get a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. But then what I have to do is all the technical work before I actually do the folding. So there's there's math involved. Sorry for those of you who hate math, <laughs> but but there's math involved. So that silhouette or that word or that shape. Um, I need to kind of bisect it into however many pages that book is. So if that book is 600 pages, I need to take that word love and draw a line through it for 600 pages. Oh, somebody, it says Facebook user. Hi, ladies. Hi, Facebook user. <laughs> um, Sue, so you're, you're muted. I am. Um, give StreamYard permission to use your name so we can say hi back. <laughs> I think that the reason everyone has to give their permission is because we're streaming it through StreamYard to Facebook. So that, you know. Right. Yes. Yep. I don't think they're collecting any data or anything like that. It's just because we're using another program to stream. Um, so hi, anonymous Facebook user. <laughs> um, so at, when I know how many pages, so love is going to have 600 lines going through it. Every point that that silhouette hits is where I need to make a fold. Um, so I need to know the height of the page of the book and then the points that each of those. So that takes me some time. And honestly, I really have never sat and, you know, but that's hours of time to just set up what I'm going to do. Then to fold the book, again, I don't sit, but it usually takes about six, eight hours. Um, but I will fold for a couple hours, go feed the dogs, go back. You know. um, so it takes a lot of hours 
kind of tedious um, and more precise than like the work you do, Sue, or the painters who, who get to flow. Mine, once I decided the design, which could have some flow, then the rest has to be very precise. Um, yeah, sometimes I say the painting yeah. is mindless, you know, because you can just sit oh. and do it. Hi, Brenda. Um, <laughs> and the, and were you, Brenda, were you our anonymous user? I'm just curious. <laughs> but hey, um, she, Brenda, Brenda is, I'm trying to think, Brenda, where you're from, what state you're from. Um, was it Texas? No. I know you're out west anyways. And I can't remember where Angel's from either. But um, New York. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're both New York. Um, so it's really weird to have to wrap your mind around the fact that you're you're talking about fonts when you're folding yeah. a piece of paper. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like to equate, you know, you're using a font to create this word that you're going to actually yeah. use on paper and a computer oh, is not involved, you know, other than the fact that, you know, you're using the computer to get your font. My font, right. Right. You know, so, I mean, that's just really cool. That's, you know, my brain is just like not wrapping around that really well. But <laughs> it's cool. It's, I don't think I could do what you do because New Mexico. New oh, Mexico. wow. Oh, I have a friend, girlfriend who lives in New Mexico. It's beautiful. <laughs> she has horses and mules and she sometimes will take her camera while she's on a ride in New Mexico. Holy smokes. It's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not gorgeous here Someday right now. <laughs> right now, we're having like a wet, For both ugly, us, ugly it's spring. not gorgeous at all. <laughs> but at least we don't have dirty snow. You know, we don't have snow and it's not dirty. And, you know, that could be worse. Yeah, oh, Brenda. Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <gasps> Brenda. Yeah. Amazing oh. work. I couldn't do that. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Anyways, um, so did I ask you how you got started? Like, you know, what made you decide to want to fold books? <laughs> um, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, I, when I lived, I'm originally from New York City area, and I moved uh, to upstate New York, to Niskiuna originally. And oops, what is this? Hi, Angel. I'm from upstate New York, but took a trip to New Mexico and loved it. Oh, nice. From from <laughs> never <Facebook>. came home. <laughs> um, um, I when I moved to Niskey, you know, one of my very good neighbors, Sue Bra Susan Braidwood. Hi, Susan Braidwood. If you ever see this, um, <laughs> and, the in the one time, and we were having a and she was telling me how. She was going to be going to the library later that day to uh, throw out books, pull books that they were going to throw out. And I was shocked when she told me that. I Yeah, I just that's like imagine. sacrilegious. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're throwing out books. You know, we mean. And so I asked her if she could bring me some, um, some hardcovered books. I actually thought about taking them since they were going to go in the garbage anyway. I had always wanted near a, a chair in my bedroom to read. I wanted a little table, a little pedestal. So I thought um, I like working with my hands. I like making things. My profession is using my hands. So that's, I guess, where my head brain goes to thinking about things to make. And I thought that if she would uh, could bring me these books I could might be able to lay them and maybe make a little spiral and put a wood table on top um, unfortunately when she brought me the books I saw why they were going to be thrown in the garbage they were in terrible shape um, spines uh. were broken you know they looked awful they were stained and had been but Very they had well. been loved. But they had been yeah. loved. Yes, <laughs> by, by many so readers. Right. Yep. Wow. Um, but I, I realized that my original plan wasn't going to work. So you know, when you look at the books, you see there some of them are dog-eared and things like that. And I remember my mom telling me, you know, you shouldn't do that to books because library books, especially, and all that. But now these were going to be thrown away. So. I just started to play with them and the dog ears and, you know, you could make patterns if you fold here, here, here and get steeper and go up and down. And 
that kind of was a little fun. And I, you know, made some waveforms in the books and then realized, gosh, you know, words and letters are, are just forms and shapes as well. So I figured out how to, to spell the word read in a book. I took the best book after I <laughs> messed up on a lot of other ones. I, the bet when I figured it out, I took the best book that she gave me and did read. And I gave it to her and asked her if she could, wanted to donate it to the library, just as a display to thank them for oh, giving me beautiful. Book. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I really thought that was probably going to be it for the book folding, you know, experience. I mean, I'll probably make one for myself and maybe one for my mom. Oops. Brenda says, I want to see. What do you want to see, Brenda? A book? Yep. Go ahead. She means yep. yes, a book. I'll pull up a book. Show us, show us. No, show us a different one. Show, show us a different one. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, which ones do I have? I have Harry Potter. Um, yes. Which is in a Harry Potter book. Is that what you wanted to see, Brenda? So this one's in a Harry Potter book. I left the cover on. <laughs> yes, yes. I left the cover on. Um, but often I take the covers off. It really just depends. But since I folded, the Harry Potter silhouette is in the middle of Harry Potter in the Harry Potter font. If you can see that, if I'm showing it well. Um, and then the pages, a, a lot of people think um, it says, I know it's kind of hard because I, I'm not mirrored, but it says Harry and then there's a little silhouette of Harry Potter, his little glasses, his scar, his his hair, and then oops, and then Potter. Um, and it's done in the Harry Potter font, you know, from the movie or in the books. They have a, sp a special Harry Potter. And a lot of people think that I I know maybe I'm I'm holding it close so you can see, it, but maybe actually it's better further. Um, yeah, it's just the angle, I think. That's okay. Yeah. Show us another one. Grab another one. Get another <laughs> <Grab> one. Another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we Simple Mickey. Here's Mickey. A silhouette of oh, Mickey. Yeah. Yes. Um, yep. So I often get asked what I use to cut the pages. But I didn't cut the pages because I do feel books are special and loved, and I didn't want to cut them. So the... Although there's a negative space, I guess that's what you'd call it in the artistic world. I have no, you know, painting, drawing background. I just pick things up and do it. So pardon me, I do not have the vocabulary <laughs> of an artist by any means. Um, but that negative space is, is created by folding. So the pages are all still there. They're just folded inward. Um, and yes, Someone has asked me, you could unfold the book and read it. But then I think that maybe you're a little crazier than I am <laughs> to fold it. But you can't unfold all the pages. The book is still intact. Um, have you ever had anybody, um, you know, be upset because you folded a, the book? You know? Yes. At a craft festival, somebody came by and she was, I thought she almost was going to cry. <laughs> um, she was like, Oh, you ruined the book. When I, when I let her look at it and she realized it wasn't cut, then she was happy. She's like, I'm so glad you didn't cut it. It's okay. I said, yeah, the book's okay. No. I put a sign, no books were harmed. Didn't make it yes. She was probably like a retired librarian or a retired, yeah. you know, English teacher or literature or something. And <laughs> But then again, there are a lot of book lovers, you know, I mean. Uh, and. You know, I understand they're yeah. all used that somebody yeah. was throwing away or selling and as long yep. as they're in really good shape. Yeah. So when I donated that book to the library, um, people were seeing it and there were a lot of librarians yep. and teachers and parents of students who needed to find teacher's gifts. So all of a sudden I was called to make books uh, for teachers. Or well, it's, a, it's an unusual gift, you know, I mean, and it's really, it, it really is cool because, um, you know, it can commemorate, you know, a wedding, um, a new house, it can, you know, for, for boys, I mean, you know, let's face it, our kids, it seems like are spoiled and have like everything nowadays, you know, it's like, and, and even as adults, you know, we have what we need for the right. most part, you know, so it's like the perfect gift to give somebody that, 
um, you know, it'll be an heirloom someday, really. You know, I mean, it's cool, you know, and it's worth hanging out to. It's a beautiful gift. And you're right. So, for I didn't realize when I did it that the first anniversary, the traditional gift is a book is, excuse me, is paper. So people oh, have yeah, that's true. I mean, was, uh, anniversary paper. You know, my wife is a teacher. Could you fill mm -hmm. our anniversary date, you know, in a book so I can give yeah. her something that's traditional. Right. So that come up and, um, right. Uh, Where is the furthest place you've ever shipped one? California. Okay. Uh, it's the furthest. Yeah, I guess all yep. the last. That's as far as you can get, like, here, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not out of the country yet, though. Uh, Not out of the country yet. Thank you, Megan. Megan says, love this. Thank you. Oh, hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. <laughs> so you should come on here. All you girls should come on here at some point. <laughs> Sue is such a doll. She'll make you feel so comfortable. <laughs> we would love to talk to any of you. It would be fun. All right. So um what um would you would you recommend somebody going into this, doing this? Or is it like one of those things where you've started doing it and now you're like um, it's like with painting, you know, I tell people do it if you enjoy, um, you know, yeah. cleaning up. If you don't enjoy cleaning up your brushes afterwards, then you <laughs> might as well not paint because <laughs> you're, you're, you know, you're just wasting your time and you're ruining your brushes. And because some people just really like painting, but they don't want to do the, the, the cleanup part of it. <laughs> Right. You know, um, if, you like, if you're somebody who like to be meticulous and is patient, yes. Yes. I mean, if right. that puts you into your right. little time, like, you know, mode, like need and profane to do that for me. I find them very calming um, because there's either like accounting or, a, you know, there's just sort of a, a steady yeah. rhythm beat or something that I find yeah. calming. And yeah. same for book fold. Um, again, if you like things to be precise, because you need to know where you're going before you actually start the fold. You need so to you know have, have a lot of patience. So you then you have to have patience. But if that's yeah. your thing, you know, if that puts yep. you into a little happy place, yeah. Right. Do right. It. right. Do it. I have somebody I'm not sure where she's from. She contacts me all the time um at, to make patterns for her. So really? I do the work and she um buys the patterns from me. So I've actually oh, wow. she's requested her on my website because i figured once i've done all the work i might as well post them but she likes things uh she's in michigan so i've done the peninsulas of michigan and different things like that but yeah um she as i said she has me do that dirty work part and then she does the folding part oh that's really cool so i know you're super creative so tell us what else you do because i know i've seen some of your work <laughs> and it's beautiful um, I started, well, I knit and crochet and that I've done since I was six. Um, my grandmother taught me, but something my grandmother couldn't teach me then, unfortunately she passed away when I was six years old and she used to tat. Um, and a six year old doesn't really possess the dexterity for tatting. So, and I tried to take her tatting books at different points in my life and teach myself from the, from the books. But I, the pictures were not, there's there's a very subtle motion that you couldn't get from the book. But now with the internet, um, I looked it up and I saw it and I went, ah, now I got it. So I didn't, oh, wait, I'll have to step away for just a sec because I wasn't ready. That's okay. That's okay. I love tatting. It's beautiful. It's 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 sort of a lost art. I mean, yes. I think Laura's, you're like one of the first ones that I've yeah, I, I don't think I know anybody else. No, there was one lady I used to know that used to do craft fairs, and she did the most gorgeous snowflakes, and I was always in awe yes. of, of it because, yeah. So you, you use, well, there's actually some people now use the long needle. I use the older traditional shuttles. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a way of making, I know nobody knows what tatting is, and I, I apologize. I finished this one, but I did not cut off the strings. And, so it's a way of ma making lace. With that's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Like you used to see trim. I still have some of my great yes, grandmother's yes. pillowcases. Yeah. You know, the trim was gorgeous and hankies, the antique. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful lace hankies. Exactly. And, 
Yeah. See, now if I were getting married, I would want something like that. I mean, even though we don't really use hankies anymore, but you know what I mean? It's like one of those, exactly. um, yeah. 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 It's beautiful. I think I used one of my great aunts. I put it in my pocketbook when we got married nice. and, uh, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was just something, something old. And all but. those old patterns are now public domain. So you can get them for free. Uh, like the hankies, the pillowcases. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I took them and let's see, I need something to show. Huh? I took them and turned them into like made earrings for myself out of. Oh, that's beautiful. That oh, that's pattern. really pretty. Did so you starch that? Is yes. it starch? Yep. It is. So it's stiff. And then yep. I just added the bead to it. That's Ooh. cool. That's I'm not beautiful. good at this uh, strange view. Yeah, I know I it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. I know. I I get it. Um, <laughs> so you do that. Yeah. And, um, maybe about Angel, Angel says your work is beautiful. Oh, what? oh yep. thank you, Angel. Yep. <laughs> and then um, you're also your jewelry. I started That's to wire weave. Um, huh. You have sorry, the dog. She's I have she's kids. spinning. She's spinning, chasing her tail right next oh. to me, <laughs> just like this. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I started. I don't know why. Oh, I do know why. I wanted. Uh, I started to teach myself how to play the ukulele, and I wanted uh, a ukulele charm, and I couldn't find one anywhere. Since actually, my girlfriend Diana Coulter, if she's around. Hi, Diana. Um, actually, gave me one for my birthday early time. But before she did, and I couldn't find one, I um, I wanted to make one. I wanted one, so I figured if I can't find one in a store, I'll make one for myself. And how will I do it? So I got some wire and I started to play, and I made um, a charm. Whoops, out of this one out of sterling silver um, and is a little ukulele. But now my friend Diana gave me one from Hawaii. So now I have a really cool ukulele charm. <laughs> but yeah, it started to do that. And then I found, again, I, got, I went into a happy place by weaving mm -hmm. wire. So I started to do all kinds of weaves and beads and Mm, um, that's beautiful too. Is that the moon one? Yes. What do you what do you call that? I called it. I think moon and clouds or something like that. I don't ever yeah, remember. That's gorgeous. That really is so uh, intricate. So that's copper yeah, wire that's yep. of ages woven. Um, so you have to sit and weave and mm -hmm. and then how long, go ahead. How, how long? long does it take? Hours and hours. That too, oh, I've never really been able. Well, I can, this I can sit for hours and kind of go into a zone, but I can't do something from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. um, but you're creating your own design as you're going too, though, right? So it's not. Yeah, although I'll sit yeah. and draw some out, you know, where the I want to go. But sometimes mm -hmm. what I think is going to happen isn't. Oops, maybe I can hold on. Yeah, what I fair. think is going to happen that's isn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. It may go one way. And then end up mm -hmm. in a different direction. That's beautiful so it's too. Different copper wire. Yep. Yep. What do you use for your stones in that? I mean, are um, they are they like? Um, I'm terrible about that kind of stuff, but are they gemstones? Too, and I don't know stones, or, and I don't really know places around here to buy them. Uh, this one, the Sure Factory. Like, the Sure Factory. Oh yeah, yeah, there's the stone stash in there, and right? He has he has expanded like hugely. So yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's like quadrupled his space. Oh, cool. Yep. I, I will go explore the stone stash. Yeah. Uh, this one was a disc of um, Mother of Pearl. Oh, that's so beautiful. I know you can't see the I really can't make it shimmer, but it's got that Mother of Pearl. Yeah, you can you can see it. Yeah, yeah, it's got um, that little bit of greenish too. Yes. Uh, this was just a, a freshwater pearl. Mm -hmm. You know, it has an odd kind of an odd shape too. Mm -hmm. with this water pearl. So if somebody had something special, like I know, I can't remember who it was, but somebody I knew one time um, actually came back from the ocean with um, a pearl or something they'd gotten out of an oyster oh, wow. or wherever they come from. So if somebody had something like that and they wanted it woven into something, you could do that for them. 
I could try. I'm a yeah. newbie, but I could try. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's cool, though. I mean, that's really, yeah. My fingers would not cooperate. Not um, at all. I'm wearing bandages. So. Yeah. Yeah. I have a yeah. problem just threading a needle, you know? but that's my uh -huh. eyes, too. <laughs> but, anyways. Um, so tell us what you do when you're not being creative because I know you're a busy lady. <laughs> okay. Can you hear that laugh? My husband is in the other room laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, Doug? Tell him we said hi. <laughs> he says, when am I not creative? Um, well, even work is creative. I'm a, I'm a physical therapist. Um, so I think that's being creative all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. I'm a physical therapist. I'm a skier. Since I moved up to this part of the world, I decided I needed to do something in the cold weather. So I learned, I learned how to ski. Whoops, hold on. I don't think you can hear. <laughs> um, I learned how to ski and uh, learned about the Double A Tranche. I don't know if anyone is familiar with the Double A Tranche, but Paul Newman uh, philanthropic adventures into camps for children with Keep going. Uh, <laughs> children Keep with going. life threatening illnesses. Um, so it's a camp for children, as I said, with chronic and life threatening illnesses from I think six to sixteen. Uh, the children attend camp for free, uh, and, and it's a camp that's run through the summer and through the winter. And the particular camp that I'm at here up in, in the Adirondack, oh, there you go, yay! I got that in the mail today, too. <laughs> the, the, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, if you go yeah. to their YouTube, you will, I'm sure you will have tears in your eyes with joy for the activities. But they, we are the only uh, camp for children with life-threatening illnesses that has a small ski hill, a lift of our own, and some capabilities. So I teach Oh, yeah. It's the, only place, it's the only place in the country that these children can have that for free. Mm -hmm. I know, it's amazing. And, and they really need support right now, too. And Neil Golub and Price Chopper has been really, really good about supporting. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they're doing the match right now, but they will match. I think it's they'll double whatever you. Um, yeah, whatever you match. Um, I was just looking to see if that was the case right now. But anyways, um, yeah, it's an amazing, amazing place. Um, it's a beautiful place. It's they always really say it's, ma it's magic. It's it just magic. magical there. It's really and they're always looking for volunteers too, you know, yeah. when camp is going on. This is not, you know, everything is virtual yeah. right now. And they've done an amazing job with their virtual um, offerings too to the kids. But yeah, it's um, it's so, really yeah. I saw I saw a ghost there once. Uh, no, I did see it. I Carl was saying something. I'm not listening to him right now. But. <laughs> Yeah, I saw a ghost, and he's like, "No, not that." Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, I did. It was go? it was in one of the cabins. Um, I was Which in a golf one? cart. Do you remember? So, yep. Oh, Have yeah. Oh, trust me. Was I will never. I, I will never ever forget this. Never. So you know where um Fox Hall is? Um, yeah. The big the one where the pool is. Well, yeah. if you come out of that and you go up the hill, there's a cabin right at the top of the hill. The doctors stay there. Where the doctors stay. Um, the nurses are usually across the way. Um, there's a two-story one. Near Paul. No. Oh. No. No. Um, near Fox. Near you know, Fox. Yes. Yes. So you come out of where the where the pool is, and you're instead of going down the hill to the dining hall, you're going up the hill, and yeah. right at the very top of the hill, right there. Um, yeah. Before you go all the way up to the top of the hill is this cabin that usually two doctors will stay in um, mm -hmm. over the course of the summer. And I had pulled up in a golf cart and I was looking for the girls that I was working with. And I was sitting there because I thought she was going to be coming out. And I saw this girl, she was sort of tall, had blonde hair with a, in a ponytail. You know, she was young, so it was pulled back in a ponytail. And I saw her in the cabin through the screen door, walk really quickly to the bedroom. And I was like, that's strange. Who could that be? It was just really weird, you know, because I didn't recognize her. So I got out of the car and I went inside and there was no one there. 
Oh. No one. And it was just like, I shut the lights off and I walked out and I shut the door really quickly. And it still gives me goosebumps to this day, but I'll never forget it. So I've never researched because I know every once in a while, you know, over the years, a camper has passed away at camp. So mm -hmm. I'm always wondering, you know, is it one of the campers or is it a camper Aww. that just loved camp and, and has come back to day. hang out, you know? Um, but it was just, I will never forget it. It was amazing. Yeah. And I can still see her long blonde ponytail and her ponytail kind of like came out and stood out behind her as she walked into the other room. Like she was going that it's fast. Kind of cereal. It was like a, yeah, kind of like a swoosh and her ponytail, you know, came out and oh my god. Oh, anyway, yeah, but it's the best place to be. It doesn't matter. She was obviously a friendly mm -hmm. ghost. So it is a really, really wonderful yeah. place. When I had first gone, uh been there for five years. Um, my husband thought, How are you gonna do this? You're gonna cry. Like your heart is just gonna be ripped out. I mean, I'm working with children with yeah. cancer, children who've lost limbs, children who are um yeah. you know in wheelchairs for varying reasons. And I have to tell you, I've never been in a happier place. I oh, never no. want to cry when I'm there. I'm so happy. <laughs> you <laughs> learn. Yeah, you learn from them. It really is very amazing. Much. You very, know, very um, one year, one of the walls, they let the kids paint and they put um, just meaningful expressions on the walls and the kids had to pick what they wanted to um, post. And it was just all these things that um, comments like, um, you know, never give up, you know, have mm -hmm. hope, you know, just, and it like, you know, I would get all teary eyed reading them because it was right. just amazing, you know, but anyways, so yeah, anyway, you have a really um, good time so when you're there. I'm an adaptive ski instructor at the AA Tranche and also yeah. at Gore Mountain. Um, yep. I'm not sure what's going to happen this year. It's going to be an interesting year. We're figuring it all out, but hopefully I will still have some children that I will um, be teaching adaptive lessons to. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. Well, even Gore is going to be interesting to, to see too. Of course, I mean, it's really easy to social distance when you're on skis. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You're never close. In fact, there's a rule about keeping 15 feet away from anyone. Um, normally, right. when you ski, right. uh, you're supposed to keep that 15 uh, yep. foot zone. So it's really only lifts and, uh, you know, lifts and yep. indoor lodge, which yep. is all being limited now. But we'll, we'll yep. see. So hopefully. So yeah, it might be a good year for skiing. Who knows, you know? So, we'll yeah. Try. yeah. So, all right. Come home and hold books. Sounds like a good life to me. <laughs> I, can't Only I, I think after, if I were coming home from a day of skiing or working with skiers, I would have to get out the, uh, the Baileys in my <laughs> coffee to warm up or, you know, make yeah. some mulled wine. Have you ever had mulled wine? It's so good. No, I haven't. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's some orange slices and, but mm -hmm. I'm not like a heavy drinker or anything, but like occasionally it's really nice to have a drink. Well, you can um, do that and, you know, and weave. Yeah. And have a whip and weave. Yeah. Or fold. <laughs> <laughs> no guarantees what it's going to look like, but. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Well, this was really fun. We should probably let our people go. Um, but let me see if anybody else said anything. No, um, Angel. <laughs> Just laugh. She's oh, laughing at us. Yeah. Or, or a order? Oh, that's the other thing I do. I forgot. I uh, organize a group midweek of skiers at Gora. How could I forget that? Um, <laughs> Is that the group that I did the paint party with? Okay. You did a great paint party for us last year. Uh, yes, mold, yes to mold wine, Angel. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Yeah. But if like anybody sees or snowboards, let me know. Uh, on Wednesdays, we do a women's group only. Uh, women instructors and only women. And on Thursday, we have co-ed groups on, of uh, men and women. And those are just skiers, I believe. But I would think we would do a snowboard or so. <laughs> and they're a fun group, too. <laughs> your, yes. your Wednesday group, yeah. Our yeah. Wednesday group so. is the best. The Wednesday yep. girl, who we call ourselves the girls gore. We have a, a great time. Yeah. Yeah, I know it, I enjoyed it when I when I met them. Um, so, anyways, this has been fun. 
you're you're our you're our you're our first victim on this I'm our, the, our, yeah, our I'm talk the, show. So now you see. <laughs> <I'm showing> you. <laughs> but no, it, I think it's just it's really interesting to see you know like the the um you know the thought process that goes into creating you know something and how it comes about and. You know, um, I love the little videos that you share every once in a while on our page, you know, especially those really high speed ones, you know, yeah, we'll when, you're, when you're folding pages. That's fun to see, you know, and I'd love to see more of it. Um, okay. And I think that people enjoy, too, knowing, you know, knowing the person better, you know, that they're getting something from, um, you know, their background, um, you know. So I, I love the idea of this and I hope more, more people will participate. And I hope that the viewers that end up seeing it, you know, in the replays or whatever, enjoy it too. So anyways, thank you for being here. That was fun. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for everybody who said hi. <laughs> good night to everybody. And uh, have a nice night. Stay dry. We're wet here in New York. Very wet. It was actually sleeting and hailing when I uh, went outside earlier. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. It's crazy. Anyways, have a good night. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Bye.